Well, I'm pretty sure you didn't think I was going to be able to do Let's Plays of Knuckles Chaotix forever. So for today, I'm going to display a special little preview of what will most likely be the next LP that I will do. A wonderful game for the Genesis called Dynamite Heady. Now, the way I intend to play this, I intend to do it on the normal difficulty. There is also a special super hard mode where you get one hit per life. But I'm thinking it's either going to be that, or I do like all getting all the secret bonus points. And I definitely prefer the one over the other. Anyway, this is the opening sequence to the game. Has some pretty cool music. Also displays the cast of characters with their Japanese names. This is actually a translation done by my jet or whatever their name is. Um, yeah, they've done also like some translations of I think like was Langrisier or something, and a couple other like Troubleshooter I think it was, and a couple other things like that. So this is going to be based obviously on the Japanese version in terms of gameplay and graphics. There are probably, like, several videos out there, a couple Let's Plays even, of uh, the U.S. version, so this that's one of the reasons I'm doing this version, just to be a little bit different. Besides, this version actually has some dialogue in it, of sorts, so... Anyway, it seems like uh, Hetty wasn't a good enough puppet uh, to stay around. They've got to throw him out. Probably even terminate with extreme prejudice. Anyway, the exact story behind it is, um... See those signs there? Hetty the Superstar? That, that kind of has something to do with it. Anyway, the fact that there are so many signs around here suggests that, um... Not everyone's completely brilliant in terms of understanding just who Hetty is. I don't see Super Vino here, the special little... Anyway, you don't need to destroy this guy, but he gets you one of the secret bonus points I'm talking about, if you hit him enough. Case in point. Anyways, this volume... Here, I'll turn it up a little bit better, because this game has arguably the best music of any Genesis game out there. Like, it does everything, like... Pretty much any other game notable for its soundtrack on the Genesis does. Like, there's stuff similar to Sonic 3, there's some stuff similar to Thunder Force 4, all kinds of crazy things. Hmm, unfortunately we didn't see the special bonus dude, Super Vino. How about that little, uh, layer effect there? And here's Mariyama. Mwahahaha, <laughs> fool. Since this is the first time we've ever met, I thought I should make an awe-inspiring entrance. My name is Mariyama. The Emperor has the utmost confidence in me. I'm one of his top henchmen. Here, let's see if you can take my super-burning fireball ramming attack. Alright. So anyway, the Emperor is this dark demon dude who's uh, basically kidnapping all of the puppets and creating general havoc and stuff. And um, he's created a bunch of key masters to help protect his fortress and stuff. Those are basically the bosses. Now, in the US version, the stuff that he throws out can actually hurt you, but not in this game. Whoops! And that's why I'm not playing on the super hard difficulty, because I can get away with that this way. Of course, if people suddenly decide that, hey, they want to see me play that version, I might do it. And, uh, yeah. I guess I'm better at this game when I'm not trying to talk. Oh, come on, what the heck? As you can see, though, Mariyama uses the same general technique for movement as does Ernest Evans, the three or four sprites together. And it works a lot better for him, because you can understand if a freaky little cat puppet with a bare body looks all screwy like that. Um, I'm curious as to whether or not I should continue on with this. As you can see, this is a very colorful game with all kinds of crazy graphical features to it. 
Treasure was really good at uh, creating like really incredible effects on the Genesis. Um, who do I want? Um, I'll go with uh, our good old friend Target Man. Well, not really. His name is Yakun, I think. Yeah, I want to practice. All right, this is cool music. Cool music. All right, Actually, we're going to that one. Well. Hey, I know where you're going long before you go there. I'm just that awesome. Come on. Go faster. All right, yeah. These are the little things where you get used to controlling the game. Basically, the way you play it is you, uh, most of the game, target enemies and objects and stuff with your head to hit them. It's, and, um, along the way, you'll also see in one of the other things that there are a bunch of, uh, in the other friend's room, I mean, you'll see that there are a whole bunch of, uh, things that you can add to, you can put, replace with your current head to make your attacks different. There's one that works sort of like Kirby in general does because you suck up... Whoops, dang it, I'm getting mixed up here with the controls and stuff. Heck, come on. Destroy, die, 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 die. Die, 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 die. Yay, with 13 seconds to spare. So yeah, you can transform your head really into all sorts of different things. Sort of like how Kirby had a whole bunch of transformations, you get this. Actually, one of the things this also has in common with Kirby is just, like I mentioned before, the crazy graphical effects it has. So, also, it was done by a third party, a second party developer for the console itself. Treasure only made games for the Genesis during this period and actually worked with Sega for testing. And, um, shall I do another one? Sure. Well, we're going on with the whole head mechanic. You'll notice that you can see the background there for the treasure logo and stuff. Yep, I want to try. I want to try. Yeah, take as many items as we want. Alrighty, pig head. Show, sh uh, shoots out heat-seeking missiles. Kind of Gunstar Heroesy because they're uh, stars. I mean, yeah, these these are the Gunstar Hero guys to all intents and purposes. So, hold on a second. Eh. The Kirby head, as I was saying, because it sucks in the enemies. Not good for beating up some bosses, but um, good for clearing the screen of irritating guys. Also, Hammerhead. I don't know what the names of these things are in Japanese, but it, this one does a whole lot of damage really fast. That's its uh, main selling point right there. Uh, darn it. All right, another suck him in head. Yay, makes it a whole lot easier. Just one more to go. Yay! I'll take the hammer head again just for the heck of it. And again, and now it'll be the invisible head. Invisible head makes you invulnerable. And yeah, so we've just gotten a couple of secret bonus points. And I'm going to try the one more, this one here. As you can see, because I've already done the whole Yeah, 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 I, I'm... Whatever. I just want to see if I can get through some of this in, like, a minute or so. If not, I'll just end the video prematurely, and I'll go back to this later. I'll off-screen the parts I've already done, and uh, we will come back to this part, and we can actually read the dialogue for the guy. This is the special little thing. If you grab onto this guy with your head, you can uh, go up higher. It's a very interesting and pretty fun mechanic, actually. There weren't very many segments done like this sort of thing in the whole game. I wish they had, though. It would have really made the game a lot even more fun. Just like some crazy, hard-ass platforming stuff. And I've already gotten hit a couple of times. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played this game properly. Yeah. 
Oh well, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna end it here, basically. And um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm just gonna let him die. I'm gonna let him die. Yeah. So um, that is Dynamite Hetty right there. And um, when we get back, um, I will probably try this again. Whoop! With uh, try and get through that properly. So that's all.